So I'm going to read a handful of poems from Taylor Mala's uh, poem book, The Bouquet of Red Flags, because I did say I was going to read from this at some point, and I was going to do like a little video of me reading some of the, my favorite poems from this book. So I am going to actually read some of my favorite poems from the Bouquet of Red Flags tonight. So uh, it's one of the three videos, I, or one of the three or four videos I said I was going to do for a uh, project also for my YouTube channel, you know. Um, the other two I actually did earlier, the one was talking about, you know, my struggles with autism and stuff like that, which kind of turned into a little bit of a rant, but... Some of the ranting also still kind of had to do with my struggles with, with my autism and, and different things I struggle with. But I probably didn't want to... It just it turned out a lot differently than I, I thought I had hoped I was going to go in that direction of, of talking about. But obviously there's still some wounds and things that are very fresh on my heart and stuff that, you know, are unresolved. And there's issues and things that need to be resolved that, you know, are not. So... But anyways, this is not going to be an issue video. This is going to basically be a video of me reading poems about somebody else's issues. Not my issues. Or not the things I'm struggling with. But the poems about somebody else's red flags that are my favorite poems that he's written. So that's what we're going to read tonight. So uh, I'm going to go flip through and pick out some of my favorite poems and start uh, reading, um, reading a, a few. And... Uh, We'll see, you know, we'll see how many I do. We'll see how long it, it takes. So, this is called Without Without Love Without Limit, Question or Warning. Most nights we kiss. Then she curls away. Eyes already closed. There is no speaking. But sometimes just before the break of day, she turns in, she turns in, she turns in sleep to me. Her body seeking mine, or at least I let myself believe. Add to the glorious story list of all the of all the daily ills sleep sleep can relieve. The strain that the, of the heart that makes a fist. Love without lim limit, question or warning. Sleep and darkness have a way with pain. I live. For the moments like the, the one this morning, when after weeks of drought, we woke to rain. This next poem is called The Naked Gardener by me, well, The Naked Gardener by Taylor, Taylor Mala. You're, you're tired, but there is breakfast to make. Emails to answer, poems to write. You have to submit your manuscript, which means making sure the page numbers are right. So you, so you work out the stretch and cool down and head for the sauna. When you get the chance, strip naked, carry a hamper into the laundry... But when you remember, when you when but then remember you have to water the plants. So nude, you you gather you gather your watering can, and visit each fern by the bonsai tree. Decide that the cactus cannot be saved, and that, and this is how you appear to me, naked as Eve in the garden, flourished, sweaty hair, a beautiful mess, ha half dead. Struggling plant in your hands, only your only natural dress. You ask me to throw out the cactus. Y yes, please. I give you I, and give me a kiss. But the truth is, I would rather do anything you you want if you ask me naked like this. Repave the driveway. Learn. To speak Latin, it doesn't matter. The scope of the task, there's nothing to it. I'm happy to do it. Just take your clothes off and ask. You, twir you twirl to continue the, your rounds, leaving me love-struck, smiling wide, until I notice the next plants needing water 
are the ones in the garden outside. But off you go to tend to your beauties, watering them one by one. Radiant woman, now only clad in mysterious rays of sun. I have always considered it fortunate that we live on a hill in the middle of the woods. Because if the mailman were to come right now, he'd die from the one glimpse of your goods. Oh, naked garden! Oh, naked gardener, carry on. There is no, there is no one but me who can see, and I hope one day you'll feel as beautiful as, as you look every day to me. This is the taste of some words by Taylor M Mala. That word you said you liked to hear me say, I will whisper it in your ear all day. You sleep tight and all night. I will lie beside you, slipping it between each dream. Actions may speak louder than words, but some come like shivers. Don't come like some come like shivers. Don't come out. But over, overcome your mouth, make your lips start speaking in tongues. Hips, hips buck like a squeeze. Pretty, 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 please. It's a go down on on your knees, kind of thing. Like ah, bright wings, of your mouth is open, and your eyes are closed. Your Head falls back and you, and you sing. <laughs> this is called Stalking in Air by Taylor Mala. Our cat crouches before the fridge and does not bulge except to scratch the floor. As if he, as if, as if it, as if to ask for more of the warm air that gently blows from under there. The price of the consequence of making ice and keeping it cold. This house is already, is, uh, how, this house is old, this old house is daily food. But something in the way he might at any moment pounce upon the warmth the warm and humming air that fills this house makes me wonder if under there we might have a, have mice or at least a mouse and part of me wishes that if that we do in my heart i want to give it to give it give it i want to give him that uh, some tiny thrill with four feet and a tail to a bat about all night, we and finally kill some. Finally kill come come in the morning, lick the bloodless and leave like some precious gift of of, of warning, outside the front door on the welcome mat. What greater gift than a mouse to a cat? This is called The Bouquet of Red Flags by Taylor Mala. When you first could not give me yours, mine did not break because I thought you were a blessing. Blessings that... Blessings being, blessings being sac sacred things over which one does not cry. Later we met and kept meeting... And on the streets of New York City. Now, I now, the one with nowhere to put you. The one with the wife who had who wasn't you. Or, well, I tried to hide what I still cared for. I still, I, what I still cared for you. Which is to say, you know where I have been. Every, every who... 
every who in my heart who has has loved and lost everything i everything i have given up in the name of go, of going on all of what is left of me is yours This is the bouquet of red flag. Oh, this is this is a poem by Taylor Mala. It's called "Getting a Visectomy and Having No Children." No second thoughts. They asked the nurse as we walked to the sterile room where I will be made so as well. I tell her that my feet are cold, but I don't have cold feet. She laughs because it is cold and it's true. But no, I tell her I'm far I'm far beyond second thoughts, which is also true. Me and you have talked about this about children many many nights and I who I always thought I would marry marry someone who wanted them more than I did, but who married you instead. And you always and you who always thought you would be you, you would as well and here we are now me as me and this nurse walking down the hallway laughing about cold feet and second thoughts last chances and goddamn the fi her final question asks as an afterthought to tuck to tuck the matter into bed how many children do you already have This is called When I Left You Long Enough by Taylor Mala. Alrighty. When I left you long enough for you to finally want me back, even maybe miss me some, a longer length of time for you than ever, it is for me, for you, 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 it is, it is for me. You needing as you do, or at least an hour, if not two, by yourself, completely alone, for everyone you spread with someone, for every everyone you spend with someone else, including me, when I have been away this long on one of my many trips, I love the taste of needing of the needing of in your lips. This next poem was by Taylor Mala. It's called "Can You Ever Know the Rain." Man, man can never know the rain, even if he swears he can understand the thunder. That is not the same as knowing the water, where it comes from, where it runs, or what takes with it when it goes. When the stream flows into another, then another, then a river, then a sea, and an ocean, which never ever, even needs to whisper let yourself come to me come into me men will never know the rain or how to make it come when it is called it, it, it is only ever chance when clouds appear to answer the dancers that in the dance a man can only ride out the rain or cast his moon his moon face to the sky let himself be washed in it. Close his eyes and pray. Please wash. Please come. Come wash over me without washing me away. This is called "And Then We Switch" by Taylor Mala. And you quoted someone wise, and you and said love was a process of grow, of growing closer and closer apart. And just because and just because I'm like that, I disagree 
saying it was more like growing further and further together. But you smiled on the outside and I smiled on the inside. And then we switch. All right, so this is another poem by Taylor Mala. It's called "Based on What What You Think What You Think the Future Holds." The surest way to make God laugh is to make a plan. I remember the time before my mother started wishing she would die, but after she knew she would, as all we did in and and at most mo a matter of weeks, uh, how and how even then. She had plans for her garden. You you, ne you never know anything except that you will die. So plant snap peas and dragons, Florcynthia, tomatoes and sunflowers. Who would deny anyone, e even God, laughter than human blessing? Rain your rain your laughter down over it all. So this is this is another poem by Taylor Mala. It's called "In the Afternoon Spent Hanging Art in Your in the Walls of Your New Apartment." These are the things we find beautiful, and tonight we hang them on the walls. There is still a lot of there is still a lot to be unpacked, but we need to have our pictures in place. So tonight we hang them on the walls, family photos, flowers, paintings. We need to have all our pictures in place. Little. Little to the right, little left, and other left. Family photos, flowers, and paintings. I love looking at you, looking at art. Little to the right, left, other left. Higher, lower. That's, the, that's perfect. There, that's perfect. I love looking at your art. Come, let me kiss you over all over. Love, love, higher, lower. There, that's perfect. This is what we well, this is what we need to do now. Let's come let let come let me come let me kiss you all over, love. There is still a lot to be unpacked, but this is where we need this is what we need to do now. And these and these are the things we we will find we find most beautiful. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna leave it. I'm actually gonna leave it there because I wanna, I wanna wait until the, like some, some of these fireworks outside is gonna like light up the sky because I can probably get some fireworks pictures or videos from my window depending on how bright the fireworks are gonna be with people shooting off fireworks outside my window. So um, I'm not really going outside to watch anything because nothing's really being done. I think. I don't think there's any really big, like, things going on. I think there's supposed to be a carnival tomorrow at the high school, and the high school tomorrow is supposed to have a big extravagant fireworks thing or some or middle school, high school, something like that. Some type of school, there's going to be fireworks and stuff, and I can usually see the fireworks being shot over the hill if, they're, if, they're, if, they're, if it's actually a worthy display, you know. 
if it's actually a worthy display this year. I can usually see them shot over the hill. But somebody somebody around around all this time of year, you know, every, every year kind of shoots them off in the parking lot and they shoot them off. They shoot them off in, 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 in the Staples parking lot. So it, it's like right in the, like across the way or, you know, in the plaza across the way. So I can usually see fireworks outside my window and sometimes get pretty good shots. But I don't know because sometimes I got to stand there and hold the camera forever until I can actually, you know, get a, get a glimpse of fireworks. And I'm really not really going to really go outside in this because I don't like going outside at night so I don't really I'm not going outside at night but um I'm not really gonna stand and stand there and just you know take footage of like dark darkness either I want to be able to you know wait until fireworks are being you know being spread but it is the 4th of July um I didn't really do much I, I stayed on social media I kind of chilled I just ate food you know kind of just relaxing and staying to myself you know so, but this is the book I read from tonight. He did a book talk in Winstead, which I never, I was never able to get to. He did a book talk at Winstead where we were signing books in person. Wasn't able to get to it, but I did get the book, so, which I got off of Amazon for like six bucks, you know, free shipping. But yeah. <laughs>